Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day so far. Today's tutorial is heavily inspired by Desi Perkins. She recently, I think sometime this year, uploaded a monochromatic orange makeup look and I wanted to recreate that just using the products that I have here at home. However, I am not going to be wearing foundation or concealer, just there is a huge bee outside my window. As I was saying, I'm not going to be using a foundation or concealer just because I'm healing my face from a sunburn that I got last weekend. It's kind of starting to peel, so it's just not going to look good underneath a foundation. Without further ado, if you want to see how I got from this to this, then just keep watching. So the only concealer that I'm using in this tutorial is just on my eyelids to prime my eyes. I like to use a concealer just because it is thicker and it has more coverage. So if you're like me and you have veins on your eyes, then try using a concealer if you are still looking for a good primer. For my orange eyeshadow today, I'm using a single shadow from Morphe in the shade Spice. It's an orange eyeshadow that has a brown or warm undertone to it, so it's kind of perfect for this look. So what I'm doing is using a Morphe M330, packing some of the product onto my brush, and I'm going to place it down on my outer corners and start to buff it out. Just make sure you keep most of the product on the outer corner of your eyes. Come close to me. I whisper in your ear the things that we could be. So when it comes to the eyeshadow on the center of your eyelid, you can go ahead and kind of buff it into what we use to set the eye. That's what I'm doing just because I want to keep this really light and summery looking. Lastly, with any large fluffy blending brush, you just want to go over everything one last time. Next, I am packing on some of the product to the tip of an eyeshadow shading brush, and I am going right underneath my lashes and packing it onto my lower lash line. So as you can see, what's on my lower lash line is a lot more bold and defined than what's on top of my eye. So I'm just picking up a small amount of product on the same brush and just lightly packing it onto the outer corner of my eye and blending it with the same brush. Next what I'm going to do is apply a nude eyeliner to my waterline just to make my eyes appear more open. next step in this process is to apply some mascara and falsies are optional. It would look great with or without so that's totally up to you. Moving on to the rest of my face, I'm going to contour using my NARS ITA brush. For blush, make sure that you are using a color that is in the same color family as your eyes. So if you're using orange, you can use something orange or corally, something like that. This is a blush from Milani in the shade Coralina. For my highlight, I don't have an orange highlight, so I am just using Lunch Money from ColourPop, which has a champagne kind of gold undertone to it, and I think that would tie in really nicely with a coral or an orange anything, really, so...
All that's left to do now is my lips. I'm starting off with a darker orange lip liner and I'm going to line and fill my lips. So you can either leave it at the dark burnt orange or you can kick it up a notch. I am going to use the shade Indie Flick from NYX. It's one of their matte lipsticks and this is going all over my lips. This is the finished look. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I just have one quick question for you guys still watching. Let me know what you guys would think about a couple hairstyles for a long hair kind of video. I've been accumulating a couple requests on hairstyles that I've had in my videos. So just let me know what you guys think about that and we'll see what happens. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!